All right, so um, theory, right, is the ori, right? Great. So in theory, walk me through this one. Um, when you woke up uh, in America, only pertains to, like, Americans at this point, um, but you can verify this if you're not American. Um, was there a thing called Mother Goose? M-O-T-H-E-R-G-O-O-S-E. It was a nursery rhyme book for children. The publisher put it out for private eye elsewhere. Um, so there was nursery rhymes under Mother Goose. Great. Okay, so um, Mother Goose wrote some theory papers as she was, whoever wrote the nursery rhymes was watching over some earthly matters and needed the publisher, like, like the Bible people do, kind of, sort of, but for uh, another purpose, completely, to explain herself in case she loses humans completely and they start fighting over stupid shit and then torturing her. Right, okay, so now... Uh, Mother Goose is like a one-time operative word. <laughs> like, right? We used her in order to explain certain unexplainable things, right? And to remind ourselves um, how time works in a fluid manner of... Wait, I thought time was linear. Yeah, well, again, we're talking Mother Goose here. She writes nursery rhymes for whatever. Um, so now, for the crazy people. Right, so now you've got Mother Goose, right, um, she was maybe this size in 1900 to 1979, um, writing nursery rhymes and publishing it. This is theory now, remember, like, it's this crazy town, like, you don't have, it doesn't have to be absolute. Okay, let's just see if you could follow the train of thought before we wreck something. So now, Mother Goose was writing this stuff, right? And then, oh my god, look at that, Laverne and Shirley happened, somebody marked the air, and here we are with Mother Nature, born in 1978, oh my god, <laughs> it's amazing, we've got Mother Goose, Mother Nature, right, one's older, and one is little, right, and that's how we can keep track of forensics of quiet, dangerous things, because humans have turned against themselves and are making assholes out of molehills, literally. Okay, so, um, so here we are in, um, so now Mother Goose wrote in the crazy town, <laughs> Like, I don't know, where like, wind turbines exist and fairy tales of Prince Charming and Cinderella or Sleeping Beauty. And she actually gets up from the nap because he comes, he actually arrives before she falls asleep this time. Oh, we were really hoping to rewrite the ending to the Sleeping Beauty, like where he actually gets the princess before she has to take a dirt nap in a glass pod and age horrifically. Everybody finds out she's Mother Nature and she's Mother Goose. Oh my God, it's going to be... Are you even, like, partially aware enough to even follow along the actual storyline? I don't know. That's why it's hard. Like, who do you talk to? Like, who do you not tip off? Like, how do you... Right. Okay, so anyway, so in make-believe, like, humans can understand an alien. Um, so now, because this is an alien process, got it. Um... So we marked the forensic air and Mother Nature was born. And now she is in Aunt Judy's kitchen in 1980 going, um, gentlemen, um, I know we wrote some theory together. I'm just wondering what happened to all the cadets at like really Im like important places that are brainwashed properly from the get-go. And if they have to come out of Grayskull, it's going to get messy when they have to speak to humans. It will all of a sudden be Wonderbar instead of Wunderbar. <laughs> or it'll be Die Zinfblut instead of uh, 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 Die Zinfblut. It might even be something different depending on the eclectic dialect. But I mean, again, it's all Laverne and Shirley marking the air because <laughs> there's a lot of crazy town. 
and it's a big fucking break. Um, <coughs> so now I then um, found some lovely humans that were in the know somehow, and we on the phone did some like names. Judy had like if I say it, like okay, so what's the hubbub bub? Right, like that was like a special hat. I don't know which one he wore. Um, then there was like a whole bunch of like ca catch phrases um, for check-ins. Uh, but now here's the thing. Um, there was this guy, Tom, T-O-M. He was a white guy, my color. Um, looked like it, 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 Judy's house when she bought the house. There was Tom next door. He was a single guy from some military whatever. And then <clears throat> Bobby lived down the street that way. But Tom, and these are not relatives of mine, might I add. I did say that. Um, now, Tom, one day, it was the exact same size house as Judith's. It was, uh, Judy's was like, a, I don't know, I don't remember if hers was a light yellow at that point. But Tom's was, I, th I believe, like a, like a whitish color. Um, and... Uh, it, and he had like, um, um, he had, um, what are those things? Are the, not window sills. Those are the bottom, the, the storm windows, the, where the, not the ones that go up and down the window flaps. Um, when you have a hurricane, uh, shutters, right. Okay. Window shutters. Um, <clears throat> So anyway, so that's what Tom had. Same, same height house as Judith's. No extension or anything. And then one day I wake up from a nap and I go outside. And there's a gigantic, like, somewhere between these two colors. Somewhere on the palette between these two colors, between a yellow and an orange, the ugliest color you've ever, like, I mean, just hideous. I mean, like, and it literally looks like puke. But so then I, I, I'm like, Judith, is Tom okay? Like, uh, I didn't realize that they could build an extension between, like, when I went down for a nap and two hours or however long it was later, the whole house had changed. And Tom no longer lived there. Now, Judy, I don't, she didn't really, I mean, she didn't know all the neighbors down the block because, I mean, she doesn't like, I mean, it's not like a old time Levittown where all the people are friends and all go to the same school. Like, Judy just moved in and it was white people then. Uh, and then all of a sudden, 1980, it was like uh, the white guy next door just disappeared with his house, literally. It's actually like the kind of house that they have in The Wizard of Oz that falls on the witch, right? Yeah, okay. So, um, the, um, see, because like we've marked it in the crazy town fairy tales. <laughs> yeah, they do exist, but not for a reason you think so. And the real story is really fucking scary. Right, so that's why we leave it to the true professionals and we don't ask the angry idiots to make decisions for other people's children. Okay, so now, here we are. And um, the whole block changed to a very dark-skinned... We had no clue where they came from. Like, what part of the world did these things come from? No idea. They were not what color I was. And they are not the color that Tom was when I last saw him. Before he just disappeared with his house and some gigantic, ugly pumpkin color house with an extension went up. And then dark-skinned men kept leaving the house and going, we don't know where. We reported it to the Air Force um, and a couple of other departments. That was like around 1980. It's year 2020. Mother Goose wants to know as Mother Nature now because Mother Nature grew up into Mother Goose in the Laverne and Shirley forensics era. And I have had absolutely zero help from anything human. None of you have come to get me the fuck out of New York. That's for sure, sure. 
So now, the um, requirement was, uh, there are brainwashed cadets somewhere that believe in crazy town. I just want the uh, size Vlad. I'm his size Soviet. He may not be Russian or USSR. He might be American Mark. You never know. Because in Crazy Town, when you call your woman Mother Goose is the ugly old one and Mother Nature was the young, cute one, and we were trying to get my wife before the Mother Goose one had to be recognized as the ugliest woman on the face of the earth. So that would have been nice, but here we are in no fairy tale ever comes true because humans are involved and they're fucking useless. Um, so now where's the part of the story where you all become helpful? I'm just curious. 